Yeah, I'm going to make a quick video here about um, working with logos that don't scale properly and making them um, scale okay. You can see here now I've got a, a large and a small version of the same um, logo. And when you zoom in on the small one, it should look exactly the same as the larger one. Now, um, that's because I made some fixes. Uh, this is a, a logo that someone gave me to work with. Um, and when I first made a copy of it like this and my move tool and the alt key selected and shift transform down from the corner you can start to see even from here this headband um, is getting really really thick in comparison to the original and also the white lines around the word fight camp are getting bigger and it's more and more pronounced the smaller that it gets right here there's almost no red left in fight camp and that headband starting to look like some weird headdress. That is because that these couple of shapes have a stroke with a defined width set to them. So I'm going to delete that copy, and I'll show you again all in the Move tool, copying this over. I'm just going to go to Object and hit Expand Appearance, um, and make sure that I got everything. It looks like it didn't. There's no little blue vector line happening on the edge of this, and I can check it by scaling it down. Seems like it worked for the fight camp word, but you can tell there that it did not work for the headband. So I'll control Z twice, get it right back to the same thing, uh, size, and we'll go to object and expand again. Um, that's now giving me the option to expand the fill and the stroke. I hit OK, and I can see I do have a little vector around my whole black outline here. Now, one of the other things that I don't like, I like to to work with clean shapes that are all separated and grouped properly together and I've got a lot of expanded um, overlapping vectors. What I'll do at this point is, you know, uh, my first step is almost always make a copy. And then in my copy, I will expand my artboard over here. I'll go to the Pathfinder and I will just divide everything up and then deselect and make sure that it all still looks the same. If it all still looks the same after I divide, I will start going into individual colors with my white um, direct selection tool. I use the keyboard shortcut for that and I'll pick any one color like this red and then I'll choose select similar objects and notice that again all of my reds you know, another common mistake are not the same red because it would pick up all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these reds and I will eyedropper one of the other reds, pick that up, and then I'll just go back and change that to it. So now it's picking up all the reds everywhere. Um, if I only want to do it on this particular one, I'll control X, put this on a new layer. Lock the old one, control V, paste, over. And then I can select out the reds, again, with my direct selection tool, the select similar objects. I can then go back to my Pathfinder and unite those, make a copy, and we'll, in the next video, show you how to separate out for, uh, you know, color separating for screen printing. But I'll just repeat that process for every other one here. I'll make sure that all my blacks are the same. It appears that they are not. Selecting all of those. Again, going back to my eyedropper, picking up one of the blacks that's not selected. And grabbing all of my blacks. Same thing over and over again.